Howdy howdy, this is Crazy Granny back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover round 1 results for the Venom the Duck and Nebula arenas, then jump into some round 2 predictions. So first let's jump into the results. So it looks like a little arena fatigue hit in here, or just maybe not a lot, maybe with the combination of not a ton of excitement for Venom the Duck and Nebula as a four-star basic champ, but um, these numbers are pretty low compared to past new champs when it comes to the four-star and five-star feature arena. But starting first with the five-star feature results are cut off all the way over on the left. You can see that came in at a low 26.5 million, whereas the four-star feature cutoff came in also at a low 12.5. And then lastly with Nebula, I, I didn't really expect this number to go too high. I mean, she's been in the game for some time. She's a decent champ to have, some utility, but uh, for the most part, you know, I didn't expect a ton of interest for her in the first round, and so she she fell right into the the middle of that low interest group at with a cutoff of 1.8 million. Now, despite that being the case, when we take a look at my actual predictions, was way off when it came to Vin and the Duck. I I assumed they would be low. Um, I, I was thinking there'd be a good low number here for Venom the Duck, but I didn't imagine that low. So these were these predictions were definitely a little too high. And when they came with Nebula again, I thought she would be in the low interest group, but I thought she'd be closer to that border between low interest and medium interest, given she still has a lot of utility, um, double immunity, that kind of stuff. But ultimately, she just fell out of that... Uh, 10% uh, range with that uh, with my cutoff. So for the most part, these predictions, none of them fell within that 10, 5 to 10% range. But with uh, the five star or the four star basic, we were real close. But anyway, with uh, the first round passes now, I'm going looking forward to the second round. Let's take a look at some trends for these type of arenas. Starting first with a five star feature arena. You can see for the most part for a while we were going along where the first round was always lower than the second round. And then we had the Emma Frost. Wow, 67 for the first round. Really scared people away the second round. So much so that that second round cutoff came in at that low 21 million. Even lower than what we saw from Venom the Duck this time around. And then uh, things kind of returned a little bit to normal. But not uh, like crazy 60 million numbers again where Symbiote uh, Supreme came in at 41 million. And then the second round it went higher as it typically does. Went to all the way to 51 million. So for the most part it looks like second round is higher than the first round. Now when it comes to the four-star feature arena, it's not exactly the same here where you sometimes you see a higher number, sometimes you see a lower number, most recently with Symbiote in between the first round and second round. And uh, most recently with the Symbiote Supreme, we saw a drop from 13 to 10 million. But I will say because the Venom the Duck number was so low, I can't imagine we'll see another decrease. Instead, we may see a slight bump, but not much. And lastly, when we look at the four-star basic low-interest arenas, you can see it, it, it uh, goes a little bit between, uh, you know, we have one example with Thor, Jane Froster went down between the first round and second round where Modoc and Lucasia went up. So basically, it appears as if uh, where a champ still has some value, Modoc and Lucage definitely are decent champs still in the game, that in the second round for the four-star basic low-interest, there seems to be a slight bump, nothing tremendously, but a slight bump. And lastly, when it comes to new three-star feature champs, always round two is lower than round one. So concerning on this, here are my thoughts for the uh, round two predictions, or the round two cutoff predictions for the veterans bracket. Starting first with the uh, five-star feature, I think it's going to go up a little bit. There's going to definitely be a rebound. Well, not a little bit. I definitely think we'll see a rebound similar to what we saw for Symbiote Supreme. We get a good 10, you know, almost 10 million increase. So we'll go back to 36 million for the cutoff here. With the four-star feature, Vin and the Duck, I think you'll see an increase as well. Nothing too tremendously. Still staying out of those high 13, 14 million range. Definitely 15 million out of that range. Instead, I think we'll be around 12.5 million. Nebula, I think you'll see a slight increase to 1.9 million. And lastly, I think we'll see that decrease for the three-star feature, Vin and the Duck, coming at 1.1 million. Again, these predictions are for the veterans bracket. Always I do like to give a grind target. In this case, the grind target was a little bit much more than needed uh, for the first round. It will be interesting to see what happens with the second round. But anyway, uh, for the Venom the Duck uh, five star, you'll definitely if you go to 39, you should be completely safe. Same thing with the uh, four star feature. Go to 3.5, you should be safe. 2.1 for the four star Nebula and 1.2 for the three star Venom the Duck. So these are for these grind targets as well as the previous predictions were all for the veterans bracket. When it comes to the lower bracket, not a ton of data to do any trend analysis. So these are just raw, rough ballpark estimates based off the of anecdotal results provided by the community from time to time. So starting first with the beginner's bracket, meaning your account's been open for less than 30 days. Three-star feature, Vin and the Duck, you're going around 245. The four-star basic nebula, 1 million. And for the four-star feature, Vin and the Duck, 1.1 million.
And then jumping over to the intermediate bracket, meaning your count's been open for 31 to 60 days. Three-star feature, you're looking to 525. The four-star basic, Nebula, 900,000. And lastly, the four-star feature, Venom the Duck, you're looking at 1.2 million. So anyway, these are my thoughts for the round two predictions. Would love to hear your thoughts. Zone on down in the comment section. We can definitely discuss them there. And if you like this video, we'd really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel, would really appreciate it. Subscribe. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.